welcome to the Midnight Quilt Show where we're celebrating the most quiet time of the day when everyone's asleep and we're getting ready to make a quilt. But first a riddle, who has a Midnight Quilt Show and four fun batiks to quilt with? This gal. Let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna start cutting my fabric into strips. If I had been thinking, I would have got some pre-cut two and a half inch strips, but obviously I wasn't, so I will cut these into two and a half inch strips eventually, if I can figure out how to fold it. Now I'm gonna repeat with the rest of the fabrics. Oh gosh, I wanna spill the wine. All right, I'm all finished. I cut up all my four fabrics. So now it's time to sew them together in a strip unit of a long, four long strips together. I'm gonna use one of each to make my bigger strip unit. Well, that one's not particularly straight, so we'll just put that one aside for now. How beautiful. Now I'm just gonna sew them together and have one long strip unit. To get the pattern or the supplies I use, click the I, or it's down there in the description box. All right, my strip unit is finished. Now I just have to iron it real quick and then I'm gonna cut it. You know, cut it like it stole my lunch money. All right, I've cut out my pieces. Now I just need to tetris them together. This is gonna be my center of my block and what I'm going to do is just arrange my pieces so that it works its way around. Wrong way. And you'd think that since I designed it, I would remember how this goes. Third time's the charm. Oh, this just doesn't look right. Can't imagine why. Just kidding, this time's the charm. If this isn't right, it doesn't matter. It's staying this way. If that wasn't confusing enough, I'm going to assemble the block starting from the center and working my way around, kind of like a log cabin quilt. So I finished my rail fence slash log cabin block and I've not only done one, but I've done one, two, three, and four. Cause I don't need these right now. I'm gonna work on the strip units in the center, but I am gonna need them to put the rest of the quilt together. I don't think I thought that through very well. So to make the center strip unit, I'm gonna sew three strips together, cut it into pieces and combine it with some of the beginning strip unit and have a really cool middle to my quilt. I'm not gonna lie, when I started, I was a little worried about these fabrics. I thought they might blend in too much with each other, but I kinda like it. Or maybe it's because it's getting late and my, my vision's not keeping up so good. I'm in the home stretch. So I finished the blocks, I finished a center strip. Now all that's left to do is put all these blocks together and the best thing about this quilt is there's no matching seams. So no matter how poorly I piece it, it won't even be that noticeable. Oh, there's fibers in there. Hm, it's fine. If you can't see it from a moving horse, it's fine. Voila, don't forget, finished is better than perfect. The great thing about using busy fabrics on a quilt is I don't have to worry about the quilting showing, which means I can just go ahead and have fun. I'm quilting a fun, feathery, leafy design because it really matches the prints of the fabric. I love how this feather is so fast, but I think it looks kind of elegant. So it's always one of my go-to designs when I'm working on a quilt. Just start with a big swirl and add my little petals as I work my way around. And then if I get bored of quilting feathers, I can just add a leaf. Pause and take that out. Nobody wants to run over a safety pin. Nothing good comes out of that. That's so nice, Angela. Why, thank you. That's beautiful. Well, I try my hardest. I really like how this is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And there it is, a fast, easy to make quilt with some fun fabric. It's the end to a perfect night. Thanks so much for joining me. Click subscribe and see what I'm up to next week. Until then, happy quilting. Mm -hmm.